poses are kind of the traditional, very recognizable yoga poses that people who don't practice yoga will sometimes know what they are, like a tree pose. But our traditional way of doing these poses is to use something external for support. In tree pose, I'm resting my externally rotated leg on my standing leg. Or in dancer pose, I am grabbing my foot and drawing it back. But the interesting thing that's come up in recent years in yoga is doing these poses in a way that is more dynamic and internally active. So we take that same exact pose, we tweak it a little bit to create some space, and it becomes a whole different level of challenge. So first one I'm going to show you is tree pose. And I can have my hand at the wall because this might be a new challenge for you something different that you're playing with in your practice. And I'm going to roll my leg out, just like if I was going into tree pose where I was going to rest on my standing leg, but I'm going to keep space there. I feel a ton of work in my hip muscles, very challenging. And then I can come away from the wall, see how that feels. Good. And then you would repeat that on the other side. But now I'm going to show you what that would look like if you did dancer in the same way. So traditionally, I would come down and grab my foot or put a strap around my foot. So I'm using the strength in my arm to get my foot where I want it to go. But today I want to see what internal strength I have in that leg to make it make the shape that it has strength to make. So I'm going to pull my leg back. I'm going to pretend like I'm holding my foot even though I'm not. So I get a similar shape, but it's such a different experience. I feel so much work in my glutes and my hamstrings, my hip muscles, ton of work, lower back muscles, and even in my arm, my shoulder extensors, my triceps are working really hard. I'm gonna come away from the wall, see how that feels. Very similar, so if I grab my foot, and there would be kind of that dancer, the traditional way. But I love to try it in the active form. Okay, so the other pose that has gotten a lot of attention is the big toe pose, the extended leg big toe pose. And this is a challenging pose for a lot of students. We take the fingers, we wrap it around the big toe, you might be going straight out toward the front. It might be an opening out toward the side. So just notice where my leg went when I was holding on to my big toe. And then I'm going to do the active version. So leg comes up. I imagine that I'm holding on to my leg, but I'm not going to touch it. And I lift. And I'm using lots of internal effort in my leg. Super hard. Good. All right. Now. This one's going to be interesting. So we're going to do the same thing out to the side. I can't grab my toe. What is this pose going to look like with internal effort? Right about there. Big difference to when I was holding my toe and taking myself to the end range of motion. The internal experience, I'm now very hot and breaking a sweat because it took so much effort and it built up so much heat working my muscles that hard. So it's a totally different experience of your balancing pose, holding onto your limb and pulling it where you want it to go or creating that internal effort. 